Intersection. Points from 50. Delete the first two original circles. And it's come down again now. So 10 points from 50. And then it's a straight line again. Draw a line from this point to here. Enter. And then it's a radius of 18 between these two. Draw, circle, 18. Repeat circle, 18. Repeat circle, intersection, 18. So the original two off. And then it's just a polyline to finish off. Okay, I'll just highlight these circles, change the colour so it's a bit easier to see. Properties. So we're done with that now. Properties. I'll change them to white just so it's easier to see. So now we just need to trim this, tidy up, and make it into a solid polyline. So we'll go trim. I'll just do it each circle at a time. Trim to that. Trim to that. I'll do it all in one go actually. Trim to that. Point jump to that right click so we can trim that one we can't trim that one try again jump to that point jump to that point so it isn't quite intersecting I'm not sure it isn't why it isn't quite intersecting so it's just it's just a millimeter off also this standard right because or less than a millimeter because these these points will be rounded up so it might not be exactly right so what I tend to do in this situation is I just pick that point there that end point and I should usually snap it to the tangent and then tidy it up afterwards so I'll take node off I'll just snap to the tangent Taking a section off too. So that point, just like that one there. Be all right. Try this one. Tangent. I'll try trim now. That's better. That's probably the same thing here. Try trim again. Trim to that point. Trim to that point. Still want trim. What's that? Is this? Hmm. This is a. Uh, it's just tricky. Just trying to tally up. I'll just regen this. Re. General. Really want these points just to match up. I have a known points as well really so it's not quite matching up there but is it matching up here just ever so slightly off What I have done before is just to make it a bit simpler. Is I just, just I can just select the node, draw a line out there, select the node, draw it out there. 
I can just probably trim it just to that for now. Set M2 and trim it down to that. I'll delete these original two. So I've got the pole line there, just want to make it one solid line. So I'll go ped it again. Ped it. Ped it. Multiple. Select. 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 Enter. Make all pole lines. Yep. Join. No fuzz distance. Enter. I'll say if that's done it. So it's done that section there, done that section there, so these two sections aren't quite joining up. So let's have a look at that. That one's overlapping that way too much, so I'll just pull this one back to a point. I'll try pet it again, pet it, multiple select objects, this side and this side, join, enter. And it looks like it's done it. Oh. These two I haven't connected either. So I'll just click that one. Yeah, that's going a bit too far that way. And that one's. Make sure that's snapping to her. Pet it. Multiple. So it's like that section. That section. Join. Enter. And yep, that's done it all. So then it's just measure again for every change so I can offset that offset 3.75 again yep offset it that way for profiles offset it that way for profiles enter offset again 2.750 for face of curb yep yep and I will um, measure this as well for change points before I do that, I'll just make a new layer. Layer properties, new layer, center line, road 6. That current, change the color to red. I'll just go measure command, measure. It's this center line, one every five meters. Like that, select similar, make them red. So that's every five meters there, uh, all measured. Okay, and I'll just do row 60h while I'm here. So I'll just go to Excel, row 60h, it's only two points because it's straight. Copy, draw multiple points. So, uh, so it's just a straight polyline that point to that point enter make a new layer center line road 6 th make that magenta I'll change that over to Change that to about 60h. Like Offset that one as well. Offset 2.75. Yep. And that looks like that one's working out. Offset again 3.75 for as profiles. And that's working out. And I'll measure this one as well. Split it up into 5 meter changes. This one here is split up into 5 meter changes and it's done it as well. I'll make them magenta as well. So that's it, your three roads, centre line drawn, offsets ready, and um, we can we can measure these. So um, if we wanted to find out, so this is change 5, 10, 15. If we wanted to know where change 20 was, left and right, you just need to go to snap settings, make sure node selected and um, perpendicular. So to find this point, it just be perpendicular there. It shows you where you want to snap perpendicular again to this side. And that's how you find it.
that point there. Or there's a quicker way of doing it, which is draw a line across to the end point, which is perpendicular, snapped again, perpendicular, snapped again, and you can just array this down. So this is what I like to do. So just go to type in array command, array path. What I ask you. So the path is the center line. And we just want it every five meters. So we just type in five there. Enter. Close array. And as you can see, it's just done it every five meters for us. So I just usually just make sure I explode this so you can edit it afterwards. That's done it every five meters. Don't need these here because it's um, a junction point. To leave them off. Do the same for here. So it's this point to the perpendicular. This point to the perpendicular. Better make this stand out a bit more. So I'll make it e green. And it's array. Array path. That's the path. No. Array path, select object, which is this. Enter, select path, or set one. Distance between them, five meters. Enter. Yep. Close array. Explode it once I'm done. And that's it at every five meters. Do the same for this one while I'm here. No polyline. This point, perpendicular, this point, perpendicular. Make that magenta. Recent input, array path. That's what I want to array. That's the path I want it to array on. I'll do it five meters and so close array. So it's done it there for me. So now we can just go along, select these points here, and export them out. So I'll show you in the next video how I export the points, but it's basically just you've got to go to the red point here. So if you just clicked intersection, so we know that point there, so we can export it out straight into the machine, and get it set out straight away, and same for the profile. There. In the next video, I'll show you how I export these points I use a block to export it to generate um, an Excel sheet so it goes straight into the machine rather than manually inputting it or manually clicking ID writing it down into the machine so um, I'll stop the video at this point in the next video I'll show you how I use a block to export all these points to Excel and Excel to the machine okay thank you